Hi and welcome to Sigos This and That. My name is Yusuf Opa. Firstly, please allow me to welcome and thank our new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you new subscribers, new family members. Your subscribing to us is highly appreciated. Thank you so much. Family, without much ado, let's get down to today's business. In this eye-opening video, we delve into the world of Houghton's crime prevention wardens, also known as Amapanyazas, and the series of unfortunate accidents that have plagued their mission to fight crime. Premier Panyaza Lusufi introduced these wardens as a supplementary force to empower and assist the Houghton police. However, recent reports reveal that out of the 200 BMWs issued to them, a stagger in 22 have already been involved in accidents, with three written off and 11 undergoing repairs. The Department of Community Safety spokesperson, Offense Morani, highlights that these accidents are not uncommon. As law enforcement officials face risks while conducting high density operations and patrols at high speeds. However, Morani stresses that reckless and irresponsible driving of state vehicles is not condoned by the department. Contrary to claims of being authorized personnel, the Sufi spokesperson Sizwe Palmla emphasizes that the wardens are merely students and are always accompanied by Houghton Traffic Police. They are not empowered to act independently and do not replace the police. Nevertheless, South African Police Service, SAPS, has distanced itself from the wardens, stressing that they lack necessary training, equipment, and authority to effectively combat crime. They are expressly prohibited from using firearms and conducting tasks reserved for authorized personnel. Unveiled as part of Lucifer's Nazi Spani job creation scheme, these controversial wardens have faced scrutiny regarding their efficacy, cost, and political motives. Armed with BMWs, helicopters, CCTV technology, and motorbikes, they were launched at a hefty cost of 450 million rands. 450 million rand. Despite budgetary concerns and concerns over their training, Lisufi has promised to continue employing more wardens on a month a monthly basis. Not a bad idea. Because the intention here is to create and create and create more jobs, especially for the youth. We are sick and tired of our youth complaining about jobs. And it's really saddening to see how youth, you know, languishes at home with their degrees, with other qualifications of scarce skills and scarce niches. You find them staying at home. I think it's a good idea. Family, what do you think? Family, join us as we delve deep into the controversy surrounding the Amapanyazas now and in future and question whether they are costly accident, accidents highlight deeper issues within crime prevention strategies in Gauteng. Stay informed and engaged by watching our thoughts provoking videos. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, share and comment below. Please let us know what you think about Amapanyaza. Is it an excellent idea? Will they stand the test of time? Will their contribution make some difference in the communities? Or is it just another waste of taxpayers' money? Till next time, cheers family.